There are lots of Kirogyapa in America. Kirogyapa stands for a new term used in Korea to refer to father who sent their wives and children to foreign countries such as the United States, Canada, UK, Europe, and Australia for a purpose of educating their children and then remain in Korea alone to support them. What I love most about this short is while there might be a specific name for, you know, this type of father in this country, really there are this type of father in every different country, right? We see so many different cultures having um, patriarchs sacrifice in so many ways their relationships with their children to give them a better life. Um, as someone whose parents immigrated to America to give them a better life, I can at least partially um, understand on a personal level what these children must go through. And as incredible as that sacrifice is, it can't always um, fully justify the lack of that uh, emotional relationship and connection. I think we see that displayed in the in the shorts uh, subject and his the relationship he has with his father. This is a great and important examination that transcends culture and is truly a universal issue. I really enjoyed this. I would have never thought of something like this because it's so far from American culture and it's so far from what is kind of standard or even like a concept that unless you knew somebody that was going through it unless you knew somebody that was Korean that had either been a part of it or had a family member a part of it it's just such a foreign concept to me so I was really really interested in watching this and kind of learning about what it is what the kind of sacrifice and dedication takes and then getting to see the interviews with kind of both sides of it and not just with him and his father but also with a friend's father and then the friend himself I thought was a really really interesting perspective and getting to kind of see what that kind of dedication and sacrifice means and how it translates for the kids and how it's another way of showing love and showing dedication and showing care and like I said for me personally it's just not something that I had ever really been exposed to before because it's so far from the kind of culture that I experienced growing up that it was really, really fascinating to learn about. And just to see that love and family can take many different shapes. And just because it's not what you grew up with or not what you would necessarily associate yourself, but those acts come in all different sizes, all different shapes, and they can it can look very different family to family. And that doesn't make the family any less important it does make the love any less important it just means that it looks different for them than it does for you uh grogi appa is a story about cultural traditions and getting a spotlight on a better understanding of korean culture here we have um just a just a little spotlight on what grogi appa and what that is is a korean man falling in line to uh take care of his family his wife and his kids that may uh, study abroad or live outside of korea itself and they're usually hard-working men um often trying to uh you know, make sure that their families get um, the opportunities that life has to provide for them. But with that in mind, it also comes with great sacrifice. And so I think that's sort of what this documentary represents. You get this opportunity of uh, a young son that is sort of showcasing the experience of what it's like and these hardships that they might face as an individual, as a family, and um, what this lifestyle can uh, be in this sort of culture. I had no idea what this was like until I had no idea what this was or had any um, idea of that this was even a thing before uh, today.
This film is called Garogi Appa. This is a heartwarming short film. I enjoyed hearing the voice of the youth describing the experience with a father who sacrificed so much for the family. There is obviously a lot of gratefulness of the father's efforts, even though they didn't know each other that well after so much time apart. Lots of wonderful footage of the airports and the edited scenes of their attempts to communicate in between US and Korea in their respective homes and workplaces. The soundtrack consisted of piano refrains, which matched the sentimental message of the film. It was a very informative short about the term Garogi Appa, which I had absolutely no knowledge of before. Well done.